Retrieval Augmented Generation can help you answer questions from your data. This is a use case of AI that's been covered in many of our videos. Multi-Query RAG is an advanced application of RAG in a simple RAG pipeline. You have your documents, which could be in any of the formats, and we extract the text, split it, chunk it, and embed it in a vector database. So this part remains the same for a simple RAG pipeline as well as for multi-query. The part that changes is where we query from the vector database. So what you might have seen is that in a regular RAG pipeline, the question is embedded and then for that question, we are searching in the vector database and we get relevant answers or context. And then we send it over to an LLM to generate a response based on the context. Whereas in multi-query, now we're gonna send the question from the user to an LLM and ask this LLM to generate multiple queries based on the question asked by the user. So in this case, what you notice is the LLM is asked to generate three questions based on the initial user question. Those three queries or questions are embedded. And then we search in the vector database based on the newly generated queries. We get relevant context, combine all of these contexts from the vector database, and then we send it over to another LLM to respond back based on the user question and the provided context from all three of these vector database searches. The final response is generated and provided to the user. With Langflow, it's easy to build simple as well as advanced RAG applications. You can go to new project and here you can select the vector store RAG template. That will bring you to a template which is going to be a simpler version of what we're seeing here. This portion over here that takes a file and split the text and then saves it into vector database is going to be exactly how it's in the template. We're just swapping out the embeddings with Cohere instead of OpenAI and also the vector database with Chroma DB. Now, once you save the embeddings, the portion of querying from the embeddings is going to look quite a bit different. In this case, we are taking the user question. What we're going to do is take the question and send it over to OpenAI model GPT-40 mini in this case to generate multiple queries from that. So my prompt here is that you are provided with a user question. Based on that, you have to generate three different versions of the query and then also to respond back as a JSON so that we can easily split it and then send it over for the vector store search. Great. So once we send our prompt together with the chat input, the response we get back from this LLM is questions. And this is in JSON format. So we ask for three different version of questions. And that's what we get here. And now what we're going to do is we will use JSON to data component. This is something I found on the store, which converts a JSON string to data objects. That's exactly what we want. So we see that our questions are now separated as list in this case. Now we take each of the elements of that list and sending them over to this group. This group is built of the vector store search component, which has cohere embeddings, since that's the one we use to generate our embeddings. Once we search in our collection, we get some results out. And those results, we're going to convert from data into text so that we can use downstream. So that's exactly what we do. For each case, we send the query, and then we get some context or some documents from that. We can send that document aggregated from all three of these queries down to OpenAI model. Our prompt is basically going to say that we have 
three contexts available and then also the user question so we combine all of the contexts together with the original user question that was sent over from the chat input once we do that we see that we get a nice response from the OpenAI model and this can also be used as chat output great so that's the multi-query rag application you can use this template from the store. It's named as RAG Multi Query. And let us know if it performs better than a simple RAG application for your particular use case.